Hello everyone, my name is TS Page and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God video. Today we are going to be covering the Oryx 3 balance changes and the Oryx 3 mini boss balance changes. I was going to have clips organized to the balance changes that are shown on screen, but my Adobe Premiere decided to crash at about 3.30 in the morning, deleting all of the auto saves and all of the save files that I had for the video. Just completely gone. Nowhere to be seen. It completely baffled me, but that's I guess how it goes now. So yeah, I'm completely starting this over from scratch and I'm not going to go through the effort of organizing the clips. You're just going to watch me fight Oryx 3 in the background. So the biggest and most impactful change of this whole balance update is probably going to be to Archbishop Luke Oryx. Archbishop is having his HP nerfed from a base 500k down to 400k, which means he will be about four-fifths of what his initial health was, which is a very, very big change and I think is much needed. The invulnerability at the start of his attacks will go from 3 seconds to 2 seconds, which is also a very nice sizable change. The change from 3 seconds to 2 seconds doesn't sound like a whole lot when you first think about it, but then you gotta realize uh, that's a lot of damage you can get in for 1 second of just pure damaging on him, so it's a good change. The next and most important changes I think are the decreases in the Orb of Light and Orb of Chaos HPs. The Orbs of Chaos, whenever they reach him, will spawn a, I guess, a buffed or a counter phase where he will do a lot of damage and do the beams that shoot out across the whole room. The Orb of Chaos is now twice as easy to kill and this makes it to where if you have a decent competent group, you'll be able to kill them in time in order to not actually have to worry about dealing with the counters which is a super, super good change. Also, whenever he's in the middle of the room, the orbs of light and chaos will now move two times slower, which actually makes them possible to kill. They had a very short travel time whenever it was in its pre-patch phase, and this just makes it a lot more manageable to actually fight and kill those orbs. Next, when he's middle though, the candles that rotate around him have a paralyzing shot that shoots towards him, this is now going from 2.8 tiles down to 2 tiles, which is a big change when you realize that this is a primarily damage for melee's phase, and those extra 0.8 tiles is really a big deal in terms of not getting paralyzed and possibly just getting straight clapped on your character. They also fix the beams during counter, not reaching the bottom of the room. This is whenever he goes to the top of the room or he goes to the bottom of the room, and you can just straight cheese his counter phase and just completely avoid taking any damage whatsoever if you just dodge the paralyzes, which I agree should be changed considering they're now actually balancing the orbs that cause these counters. Last but not least, well actually last and least, they added little counter and transition animations as well as they fixed some typos. Chancellor Dama had some actually very small and very insignificant changes in my opinion, and that first one is he fixed the ability to sometimes have sick period which was during his counter phase where you shoot him during his opening dialogue he's supposed to perma sicken everyone during that first phase but apparently there's some ways to get around it I didn't see it personally but it's probably good that they fixed it and made it how it's supposed to be they also added a delay for the corner portal attack don't know exactly what that one means and I've spent quite a few <laughs> quite a few hours probably doing Dama himself so uh, that's a very vague term but giving more time for players to react is, in my opinion, always a good thing, so I'm not going to complain. Next up is probably the most predictable change of this patch, which is Chief Basa getting a nerf in HP from 250k to 175k base. I actually thought he had more base HP than Archbishop Luke Oryx, but apparently I was very wrong about that, but he just takes so, so ridiculously long to kill, so this change is very, very much appreciated, and the fact that they didn't change the fight much either makes me... Uh, I could have gone for a little bit of a buff, but honestly, he's treacherous enough and his falcons are scary enough on their own that he really doesn't need any more buffs. Also, for the new failsafe that spawns loot out of bounds, if people got loot out of bounds and lost white bags and whatnot because he died in the water, I just feel so bad for those people, and I'm really glad that they are, I assume, adding like a little platform wherever he dies. So, yeah, good good changes there, Decca. Very, very proud of the... So far, like, legit, all of these changes have been super good. The next most predictable change was probably Treasure Gimsbach getting buffed. The variety of fight changes and 
additions to help him bring him up to par with other mini bosses will be pretty interesting to see, especially from an Oryx 3 raid leader's perspective. I really am interested to see what they do to make the fight harder, because I could see them going overboard just a little bit and killing a lot of characters unnecessarily, but I am glad they're taking their time with this and have been looking at it to make sure that it's a, hopefully, good patch. And I totally agree with this considering Treasure Gimsbach is a complete pushover right now, maximum of like two people nexus, maybe one person dies per run, and I think having a little bit of difficulty to him would be pretty fair. Last but not least, we have the changes to Oryx 3. Now, these changes aren't super big and grand and whatever, but they fixed the invulnerability not working during portal and line beam taunts. Essentially, whenever Oryx was getting ready to announce certain phases, he would not go invulnerable whenever he was supposed to, and I think that's completely fair to change that. That's just a bug that they didn't fix whenever they're adding him. On the topic of bugs that they didn't fix, whenever Oryx was staggered after doing Celestial Strength, there would not be a check on how much damage was done, so it would just be up to time and you could do free damage for as long as possible. That's not how the fight was intended, and you're supposed to be only able to do a certain amount of damage after Celestial Strength, so it's probably a good change, even though I think that Celestial should be a high risk, high reward kind of phase, so you should be able to do a lot of damage after killing him, or pushing him past that phase, so eh, I'm kind of indifferent about the change. I liked how it was, but I can see why they would do it. And last, and most certainly least, they fix typos. Good job. Next up is the Ancient Ruins, and this is something I'll cover real quickly because it was released with the patch nodes. Now, the dungeon itself is not released, but they did give us a nice little teaser. So, in the last producer's letter, we promised an Ancient August as one of the many things we're doing to help improve and expand the early game experience in the near future. A brand new dungeon will be released in the Highlands, the Ancient Ruins, a sandy new dungeon designed by UGC member Sturkey. <laughs> kind of like turkey, will be on its way quite soon, and we'll have bigger teasers next week. So, I'm kind of looking forward to it. A new dungeon is always cool, and I probably won't throw away 15 maxed characters at this dungeon. So, I'll make a video covering it, of course, as long as time permits, and I'm looking forward to it. They gave us a nice little mystery teaser boss. If you combine the Flesh Collector Assassin set and Bess, that's kind of what I imagine that sprite looking like, so... We'll see how it actually turns out, but either way, I look forward to it. It'll be cool, and yeah. So with that said, that's about all I have to cover for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. As I said at the very beginning, all of my files for this video got deleted, and I literally, at the time of recording, have to wake up in about an hour and a half to move and go to Indiana to start my new life where I will be going to college. So anything that you could say in the comments would be super awesome. Just make my day a little bit better and if you drop a sub i will have a lot of cool videos coming in the near future so with that said thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace